hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to paint one flower bouquet with some very simple flowers and one stroke leaves so it's quite simple for beginner as well so i'm going to use few color for the flowers and we are going to start with the flower first so my first color is with uh, pink orange and white mix to make it on the peach side so i'm going to uh, mix pink orange and white color together to create a peach kind of shade so this is my first color and i'm thinking to create one shade of yellow so i'm taking yellow color and uh, I'm also mixing hint of orange in it because I don't want very vibrant yellow. So I'm adding a little hint of orange to make it uh, orange yellow kind of uh, shade. So that is my second shade and my third shade would be blue color. So this is uh, blue only. I'm not mixing anything apart from white. So these are my three colors. We can add few other colors directly like purple or uh, dark shade of pink later. But uh, for now we are okay. I'm using size 8 round brush and uh, let's start with our main flowers. So for our main flowers we need ovary of the flower with the black color. So we need black dots and smaller dots around the bigger dot. And then with this peach color or pink color or light pink color, just add few petals. So apply pressure and create petals like this. So when I talk about one stroke technique, the one stroke technique is all about pressure and movement of your brush. So apply more pressure to get more thickness in your petals or leaf. Apply less pressure to get less thickness and move your brush accordingly whatever shape you want in your petals and leaf. And you will get different texture around your petals, different color shades in your petals but that is fine, don't overdo it. Keep it simple and just go on that flow and whatever texture, whatever color shade you will get in single stroke, just be with that is what my suggestion is. So let's create one more flower like this with pink color. So now I'm not adding orange or white color, I'm just using pink color and I'm using the same technique. So as I'm using size 8 brush which is quite bigger, so apply pressure and create bigger bigger petals and create flowers like this. So this tutorial is absolute for beginners and quite simple flowers I'm going to create today for this flower bouquet. Add over the flower with black color and little dots around it. I have already added a video around the one stroke leaves wherein I have explained everything around how much pressure you need, what kind of movement you need to do to create one stroke leaves. So you just need to follow that, that tutorial to understand a one stroke technique. So now let's add yellow flowers. So for the yellow flower, I'm randomly adding small small petals, a group of three petals or two petals around this area and once done just wash your brush and with the help of clean water just try to bleed that color around that particular area to make it little bushier So 
so this is our second flower now let's move to the third flower with the blue color that we have so for blue color also i'm going to create five petal flowers so these petals are quite simple i'm using only first half of my brush applying little pressure to get smaller petals and these petals are not same for all the five so create a uh, few petals with bigger size few petals with smaller size to get different perception and create uh, three three uh, flowers uh, in both the areas now we are done with the blue flowers as well i'm also thinking to add some purple flower so i have added uh, purple and white uh, together and creating two petals flowers like this in a group i think we should add few more yellow flowers as well with same one stroke technique so let's add it so it's quite simple i'm just adding a uh, very fine fine petals in a round shape without applying any pressure because it's quite big brush so we don't have to apply much pressure to create a small small petals and few other flowers as well and i think we are done with the flowers now we just need to finish all these flowers adding ovary of the flower and then we will start with our leaves so i'm adding ovary of the flower with the brown color for yellow flowers and uh, red color for the blue flowers okay so that's it i'm just making the black color a little more vibrant so i'm adding again now let's move to the green shade so my first shade would be with uh, blue and green color so i'm mixing deep green and blue together to get dark shade of green and uh, you can also add pathalo green as well if you want so make one shade little darker and the another shade would be with sap green and yellow so i want this shade on the lighter side so i'm adding more yellow in the sap green so this is my second shade and uh, my third shade would be with uh, brown color so i'm going to mix brown and purple Uh, together to make a different variation of brown because i don't like to use uh, brown color directly instead i'm i like to use brown and purple mix so this is my third shade and uh, you can definitely use other shades of green like directly deep green or directly sap green it's totally up to you now let's start with the stems and attach all the flowers together with the help of fine stems and add leaves i'm starting with the yellow green color adding stems and attaching all the flowers that i have now with the help of dark shade just attach all the yellow flowers together with the fine fine stems It 
it's totally up to you like which color you want to use what kind of shade you want to use and one stroke flowers are also quite simple so basically you can add uh, any kind of shape whatever you like to create different shades of uh, different shapes or shades of leaves now it's time to add one stroke leaves so i'm adding small small leaves like this uh, with a darker shade around yellow uh, sorry around blue flowers and uh, i'm using lighter shade of green around yellow flowers so it's totally up to you it's totally your composition how you want to arrange your flowers and leaves together it's just that which color shade you like just use those color and whatever shape of flowers you like just add those shapes of leaves and flowers together and collect all those flowers and leaves together to create uh, a flower bouquet like this so it's quite simple it's very easy for beginners and all the flowers are absolutely easy if you are comfortable doing one stroke technique so i'm hoping uh, this video is helpful for you guys and please do let me know if you guys have any feedback around this video And we are done with this. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video.